So today I'm gonna to show you how you can make your own LEGO Technic compatible parts so that you can make your own 3D prints or laser cuts uh, and uh, create some custom robots and custom parts out of it. I'm Mr. Pratt and I've been teaching robotics over 10 years now and I use these designs on a daily basis and they have turned out to be pretty robust to be able to make some awesome robots. Today I'm gonna to show you two things. I'm gonna show you how you can make a whole object, how you can make a male pin object, and then how you can import those into your designs and how you space them out so that you can create your own custom things. So let's get started with the female pin here. This is the easiest one. I'm gonna make a new sketch on the X, Z axis. Over here, I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new rectangle. I'm gonna make this rectangle 0.8 millimeters high and I'm gonna make it uh, 6.4 divided by two wide. Gotta zoom in quite a bit. So we end up with these dimensions. Then I'm gonna go up to the next point and grab this top left-hand corner. We're gonna make this one 6.2 high, and we're gonna make this 4.95 divided by two. Oops, 9.5 wide. Then we're gonna put one more rectangle up at the top here, and we're gonna use the equals constraint to just make it the exact same as our previous point down there. And this is our baked shape. Go ahead and finish our sketch. Now I can go ahead and open up the revolve tool, select these pieces, select my axis, which is gonna be in my case, our Z axis, and we'll just have it revolve all around. And there is your female pin. Um, now, when we actually go about to use this, uh, let's say, for example, we wanna go ahead and put it inside of a cube. I like to save this as a separate component. So I've got another shape here that I want to bring my uh, Lego Technic holes across here. So what I can do is I can go into my data panel, I can grab that hole that we just made, I can right click and insert it into the current design. From here, I can go ahead and move it to where I need it to be. I can go ahead and make my rotations and align it up with where I want my piece to end up sitting. So we'll get this lined up nice and tight here. And for now, I'm just getting this roughly based. So I've got my point there. Now I can go ahead and rectangular pattern it across so I can get some more pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a rectangular pattern of components, select my Technic female pin, select my axis, and then when I drag it across, rather than choosing extent, we're gonna choose spacing. And the spacing is 7.97. It's not quite eight millimeters. Uh, it'll work, eight millimeters will work fine for small things, but if you start getting uh, large assemblies like 10 or plus uh, points, you're gonna run into some problems. Then once I've rectangular patterned out, I can go ahead and use my combine tool, select my main piece, select the tool bodies, make sure to say cut, select okay. And now I have my piece cut through and my Technic pin should fit excellently in that. You've got a nice Lego compatible female section. Let's go ahead and make our uh, Technic compatible male pin here. I'm gonna start doing the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and create a sketch on the XZ axis. I'm gonna start with a rectangle from the bottom. Uh, this time, again, it's gonna be 0.8 high and it's gonna be 5.8 divided by two. Then we're gonna go ahead and make a, another rectangle up top here. This one is going to be 6.2 high and it is going to be 4.35 divided by two for width. The next pen's gonna be a little bit shorter on the top. It's going to be 0.8 high, but it's gonna be 2.7 wide. So we end up being not quite as tall as our finishing point here. We'll go ahead and finish our sketch and we will revolve this around. Select our axis. Now we've got the start of our compatible pin here. Now we need to make a little cutout so we get a little bit of compliance to our system. So let's make a sketch up on the top here. I'm gonna go ahead and put in a rectangle. I'm gonna make this a center point rectangle for my origin. And our height can just be anything that's gonna cut through. So height kind of is irrelevant here. Uh, we're gonna make it 1.35 wide. So I end up with a 1.35 wide, about as long as it cuts through. We're actually gonna grab our extrude tool and grab our faces we just created. And we're gonna go down five millimeters. Go ahead and select okay on that cut. And you can see it's starting to take shape. But the last thing, if we're gonna 3D print these, having a harsh corner makes it more likely the parts are gonna snap. So we're gonna add a little fillet here to make it less likely for that to happen. So let's go ahead and grab our fillet. We're gonna grab the two inside corners. And these inside corners are gonna be half millimeter fillets. 
We're going to select another edge here and these two outside edges. And we're going to make these ones as well a half millimeter fillet. Go ahead and select OK. And that's the end of our male compatible pin. We'll do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and save this over as a separate component and save it as a male compatible pin. And then when we come over here, we can go ahead and insert it into our design again. So right click insert in current design. And uh, we'll go ahead and place it where it is we want it to be. I'm going to go ahead and line it up with my piece. Move it over a bit. And we'll do the same thing. We'll make a rectangular pattern of this piece, sector axis. And again, we're going to choose spacing, and it's going to be 7.97 as our spacing. And maybe we have enough space for a nine. And there you go. So this is what I've done for making uh, some different frames that have custom sizes, as well as for making custom things like a pen holder here for some of my robots. So I hope you found that helpful and best of luck with making some compatible parts.